Low pressure storm systems are usually thought of as driving fronts, the subject of a separate tape. Sometimes, however, low pressure systems become the dominant factor in weather. For example, a hurricane is a low pressure storm system, an extreme example. When thinking of the big east or west coast storms, the low can be the dominant factor. It can be the weather element that we have to think most about when planning a flight or when just looking out the window wishing for a flight. That was especially true as I was writing this part of the script during the big east coast blizzard of 1996. Look at that snow. This was the second round that fell on top of the 33 inches that we got on January the 7th. The path an east coast low takes determines the distribution of snow and rain. Generally, if the low tracks to your west or north, you get a warm frontal passage, some warm air, and have a better shot at rain than snow. If the low passes to your south or east, you may never get into warm air. Another factor along the east coast is the distance offshore the low tracks. The farther offshore, the more mixing of moisture and cold air and presto, a higher likelihood of snow. We can tell pretty well how low might track. They tend to follow the wind at the 500 millibar, that's approximately 18,000 feet, level. If you know the wind up there, you know how the low will track. Just visualizing the counterclockwise flow around a low can give you an idea of the amount of moisture it can collect. Moisture source is why, as you move east from the Great Plains, you find higher average annual rainfall rates. It's that good old Gulf moisture they talk about on the TV weather shows.